I'm trying to get co-president, but it's pretty hard to accomplish things like that. Caillou, we need you at my office, repeat, we need you at my office. Well, looks like I have to meet Mr. Mark. Weird, because every time we're in a conversation you end up getting an alert. Yeah, but this time I really have an alert. Wait, gotta go. All right, duos, this is a big one. There is a bunch of evil Rose Lena's friends in your guys' neighborhood. They're running a weapon distribution center worldwide. So why not just go locate them and do what we need to do? Dude, we do not even know where they live. If I were you, I would have gotten that information before you called us over here. That's the point. Four hours in this car and not a trace of the energy signature. You know, we haven't spent this much time together since our trip at San Diego. Stop the car. I see an ice cream truck and I want to buy everyone some ice cream. Wow, really? No, we just passed our destination. Get with the program. Do you see anyone? No, let's fire to get their attention. Fire. Get out here. Put your hands where we can see them. Yeah, okay. As soon as we're done eliminating you. Come on, Caillou, build up. Eat laser fire. Hey mom and dad, I- Kalo, Kalo Perky Shits? Um, uh, I'm not Caillou Perky Shits, I am classic Caillou. Oh yeah, you're Kalo Perky Shits. Okay, I know I am Caillou, but everything will be just fine. Everything will be just fine? My parents are knocked out, my house is destroyed, a boy in my school is standing here behind all of this, let me take a second here and ask again. I mean your house isn't that destroyed. Okay, that's $315,000 you're paying for, and I might even call the police. Or instead, I have another assumption. Well what is the... What is the... Um, she seems sleepy. Nope. Had to pull out the old memory smoke. So, who is going to go up to Vanessa? Ah, uh, maybe you. I'm not that good with coming up with conversations. So all I have to do is go up to her and say hi? Talk to her as if you would talk to Clementine. That may seem to work. Okay, then. Hey there, Vanessa. Um, hey. I think you're nice. Oh, okay then. Hope to be friends soon. You know, we hang out so much that we may be best friends. Speaking of which I have to go to the restroom again. Because I put aloe vera juice in her water. Well look what we have here. Possibly their weapon distribution stuff. Well, let's see what she is hiding on this computer. I'm back. Sorry for some reason I keep having to use the restroom. It's okay, but can I write an email to my school with that computer? Um, uh, sorry, you can't. Why not? I promise not to check your search history. Because it is my mom's computer. Oh my gosh, I have to use the restroom again. Okay, let's see what they're hiding from us. Dang, I should have known a team of evil Ross Lee and his friend's computer would be password protected.
Okay Kalu, are you inside of the their house yet? Loud and clear, I'm in the house. I'm ready when you are, we can start getting some information on them. How about we play this game called What's Your Demon Name? Oh yeah, I love that game. It's basically a combination of your pet's name and the street you grew up on. I'll go first. Finally, something useful. Okay my turn, so my favorite pet- Well, well, well. Um, Clementine, right now is not really a good time. Well I want to chime in too. Okay Ms. Bachman, back to you. What a joy but like I was saying, I grew up on 21 Ave. I used to have a goldfish but it died before I could even name it. Come on guys, get her out of there, this mission is going downhill. Clementine, could you please stop interrupting? Okay I'll just sit quietly because apparently, you care about no one, but this family, it's like you trying to get private information on them or something. Oh, uh, I'm sorry but we're gonna have to leave. What's wrong dad? Me tummy. Rosie, call Kano and warn him. Hello this is Leo, Kai's friend. He couldn't come to the phone right now. Please leave a message after the beep. Leo what are you doing on my phone? That's it I am calling his backup number. Yes. Kalo, get out of that house right now. Why, I haven't even. You guys wouldn't even let us eat at Rosie's house, you guys are lame. What is with that demon game, were they really trying to play a game? Or hunt us for personal information? I don't know but what's your favorite pet in the street you grew up on? Who would ever give up that information? And it's not because I had a cat named Elsie and grew up on Blue Ivy Lane. And why is Rosie all of a sudden talking it up to Vanessa? I'm telling you she could be one of Evil Rose Lena's worst enemies. Why think of that when the whole family could be enemies with Evil Rose Lena? Oh well, maybe we should just move out. Before Vanessa graduates in a couple of weeks, that just doesn't feel right. Yeah you're right, plus we still have to distribute the rest of the weapons before the disguise freaks out. And the last thing we need is for the disguise to think of us the wrong way. Who is it? It's Rosie. What do you want? Hopefully not to have a conversation through the door. Well, time to tell mom and dad that our house is being spied on. Oh thank goodness you guys are safe. Where were you guys? Me and Rosie came up with a plan to get into their computer to investigate more information on them, but sadly, Clementine ruined everything causing them to leave. They entered the home and it was too late, so Rosie had to come and stall them while I could make my escape. Rosie met with me halfway home and we told my mom and dad what happened. They also mentioned that they bugged our house, so now we have to fake conversations when we're at home. What concerned us the most is when he mentioned something called the mask. Actually we know somebody on our side, who knows who the mask is. Don't worry, he works for us now. They give me a lie detector test every 45 minutes to see if I am still evil. And if he fails, we eliminate him. Wait what, just kidding. But in any event, Brian gave me probably the best idea, we're going to duplicate their laptop, then switch the two computers, therefore it will be easier to get access to their computer.
I have their computer, and I connected this computer's USB cord into their computer. Now all we have to do is wait for Vanessa or her parents to log into the computer we switched. Alright guys, we're in. Can you find the weapons distribution list? Wait what? There's nothing here. Great now we're back to square one, no distribution list and we don't even know who the mask is. So that's why we're going to start doing things my way. First thing tomorrow morning, we're taking down Vanessa and her parents. Hey there Vanessa. Hey, what are you guys doing here so early? Well I thought we'd go on a little road trip to Texas. What are you guys talking about? Well our parents told us that nothing would be better than us going on a trip to Texas in a self-driving car. Okay I just have to grab my purse. There is no easy way to say this, so we're going to cut right to the chase. If you sign up for our family domain we'll throw in a free calendar. Hi, it's Caillou. Sorry to bother you, but my phone is busted. Wait so how did you get access to self-driving cars? I thought those do not come out for three more weeks. My dad works with a self-driving car company, so he got one for free. Vanessa's parents are being questioned. It's safe to break the secret to Vanessa. Hey Clementine, Vanessa, do you want to stop somewhere? Sure, yeah, why not? For the last time, I don't know anything about weapons. Then how do you explain this? You. Come on Caillou, build up. Eat laser fire. What? We never did that. Yes because you had to be 6 hour memory sprayed. You know what, Caillou, I will send you and a partner to go track down Melissa and Rosie. Wait, with who? It's unbelievable, how could my parents be friends with evil Rosalina without me even knowing? I know how you feel, when I found out evil Rosalina was in an evil group I was anxious. Wait so when if my parents go to prison? What would happen to me then? It's okay, if it ever gets to that point you can stay with us. Wait you really do that? You really are a true friend. You know what, I think it's time we tell them. No, quiet. We're already going to prison anyways, the least they can do is protect us. From what? From Vanessa. Okay, I get that teenagers can be a bit annoying. But are you really afraid of your own daughter? Vanessa is not our daughter, she is probably the disguise. Are you guys so pathetic that you'd sell out your own daughter? You know what, we've heard enough. So what fun topics are there to talk about? School. Movies? I think the England might have broke down. I'll check if the engine broke down. Good idea Vanessa. By the way, I put a bomb in the engine, so I am going to run.
Dude, Vanessa probably isn't up here anymore. Okay, that's just tough. Just. Bye. Tell us who the disguise is. Ugh, what does it even matter anymore? The mask is closer to you than what you can ever imagine. Come on, just tell us. Fine, the mask is... Did she tell you who the mask was yet? No, she fell off before she could even say it. Man this bites. Wait, she got away? She fell in the Atlantic Ocean which had probably dangerous fish, so rip her. Well, there is only one person we can go to that we can really trust. <coughs> Hey Caillou and Rosie, what are you guys doing here? We have some information about the st the disguise. You are going to go to the VLAN party, and memory smoke them. If we could pull this off, we could end the drama with evil Rosalina. Did you hear that? Everything will be solved, we won't have to deal with the evil Rosalina anymore. Great, now all we have to do is wait for the party. Hey, so what our plan is to hang out in this party a little bit. I think they all should be in this building. And why's the- Hey look, there are two good people in here. Wait what did you just do? No time to explain just run. Well gang, we did it. We finally captured the disguise. There will be cupcakes in the other room so help yourself out to it. We make a good team, Mommy, don't you think? Yeah, Rosie, I agree. Great job, Kalu. We did it. Thanks, Brian, but I have this feeling that the disguise is still out there and is going to pop up when we least expect it. It's probably just stress about college. I guarantee they're in prison. Hey, what icing did you use on these cupcakes? Man, they're really good. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 You most likely might be right, college has been getting to my head lately, the disguise is most likely in jail. Greetings evil Rosalina enemies, you might be wondering who I am, I am, the disguise. I have sat here watching you all pathetically struggle, and now that I have got you, it's time. That you all watch the destruction from me. Hey Leo, what are you doing here? I'm walking home from my grandma's house. What are you doing here? I'm getting ready to quit my job with Mr. Mark. Why? You can't just quit your job, the mask is still out there. Because I think my work is done, although they barely trust that I'm a good person. My plan is to finish college, then invest my passion. Okay, good future I guess. Anyway, you gotta roll. Okay, to my plan is to go up to Caillou, Rosie, Doris, and Boris, and destroy them. They have no idea that I am the mask, and I have to eliminate any possible threat. Hello? Hello it's Brian. You and your family better watch your back because I just... You just what Brian? Give it up. It won't be long before people find out. You'll never get away with this, disguise. Or really. Ah! 
Good news, Brian is laying in the hospital with a serious neck fracture. Wait, I thought he was on our side, how is this good news? It turns out he was the disguise. Now the disguise is finally done. Tad, you hear that, all of the crimes are done. Anyways I gotta get back to the old office, gotta go. You know, I think something fishy is going on. Why would Brian all of a sudden be a bad guy knowing he would be eliminated if he was a bad guy? Just because they believe the disguise is defeated doesn't mean my job is done. I still need to eliminate their family. I would be happy to help. With pleasure. Okay, so what I'm about to tell you might shock you, so you better listen carefully. It turns out Brian was disguised. Call along. Wait what? I don't believe this. He literally told me that he is quitting his job because people think he is a bad guy. Well, I am sorry Leo but he was just lying to you again. No, no 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 no, where is he? He is at the hospital with a neck fracture, meaning he can't speak or he'll damage his vocal cords. Wait what? I have to talk to him. Well I just said he has a neck fracture meaning he can't- Oh why do I bother he can't even hear me. Funny, he is smarter than me but couldn't get that through his head. I don't know if you can hear me or not, but I don't believe you're the disguise. Wait what, you're awake. By the way just in case you couldn't hear me, I do not believe that you're a disguise. But do you know who it is? Hmm, maybe you could write it down on notebook paper. Stop what you're doing. When I went to visit Brian, he wrote down on a sheet of notebook paper that he is not the skies. Wait, so who is it? He said it was, Mark. Mark? Would be Mr. Mark. Wow, that makes so much sense. Well if Mr. Mark is the disguise, he is not going to just wait for Brian to get better. Well GG Brian, because sometimes, all good things, must come, to an end. What is going on here? The dude in the red shirt tried eliminating Brian, the guy in the bed. Okay, I'll take care of him. Thanks Mr. Police Officer. Haha, <laughs> silly bald boy, he doesn't realize what mistake he did. That's right, it's time to go eliminate them in a few- Okay guys, it turns out Mr. Mark was the disguise, now we can go. Well, well now, now that this evil, evil Rosalina, Rosalina stuff, stuff is, is gone, gone things, things are, are gonna, gonna be kinda, kinda different, different in this family. family. I didn't think we could do it, but if we believe in ourselves, we can accomplish anything we want. You know, it's, it's been, been an adventure, adventure. Searching, searching for all of the evil people associated with the evil Rosalina, I will never forget that. Hey Rosie, Mom, and Dad, do you think we could just take the time and stop and think about all of the times we had while trying to work for Mr. Mark? Sure, why not? Fun times I guess, but at least it's all over. Or really? Game over, Mr. Mark. I hate you all, you all suck. Come on Mr. Mark, you can spend the rest of your life in prison. 
hold on, we shouldn't take him to prison, knowing that we should be on watch with him we at least have to do something. Actually I agree with Caillou, knowing that he could break out of prison without us knowing, I have thought of another form more punishment that could be better than prison. Wait, so what punishment are you thinking of that could be better than prison? You locked me up in a jail cell inside of your own guys' house? How is this any better than prison? It's way better than prison, if you got sent there, many criminals would tease you. Well I guess the red-headed girl was right, this could be better than prison. Well hello, Boris, Kalau, Rosie, and Doris. You might be wondering who I am. Well I am, the mayor of this city. Well hello, it is an honor to meet you. Why thank you. We would like to inform you that our team is impressed with your smart reflexes as keeping the city safe, and their understanding of true hero to raw sim. And as in result in that, we'd like to congrats you on, Hero of the Year. Thank you so much Mayor of the City, this is amazing. No, thank you Rosie, and as in reward of protecting this city, I'd like to tell you that your super jet is waiting outside. Thank you Mayor, but we already have a self-driving car. Do you want the super jet or not? Fine. Sure. Why not? Sorry for my apologies. Anyways, go have fun. This will be awesome. 